Have you ever felt as if you were merely surviving rather than thriving? Do lingering doubts and fears often derail your efforts when you set out to achieve your dreams? Imagine if those barriers could not only be identified but completely dismantled in just 30 days. This audiobook promises a transformative journey through which you will emerge not only with a deeper understanding of your true potential but equipped with the tools to actively harness it. Begin by considering the multitude of subtle ways in which your environment, your upbringing, and perhaps most pervasively, your own mind, conspire to create boundaries. These boundaries are often so well integrated into your psyche that their limiting effects are felt long before they are recognized. This journey you are about to embark on is designed to challenge these invisible cages. Not through mere inspirational words, but through a systematic, day-by-day -day breakdown of everything you think you know about yourself. What if the things that have held you back were not the unchangeable aspects of who you are, but were, in fact, deeply malleable and within your control to change? The next 30 days will be intense. Each day, you will be introduced to concepts and practices that, when consistently applied, have the power to produce remarkable changes in your life. From uncovering and leveraging your unique strengths to developing the resilience and discipline necessary for sustained success, each step is crafted to build upon the last, creating a robust framework for personal growth. Perhaps you've tried similar programs in the past and found that the initial excitement wears off quickly, leaving you back where you started. This is a common experience, and it's precisely what this guide seeks to avoid. Not only will you be introduced to life-changing ideas and routines, but you'll also explore why past efforts might not have led to lasting changes and how this time can be different. This is not just about adding more to your daily to-do list, it's about fundamentally reshaping how you interact with your day-to-day -day life. It's about shifting the very paradigms through which your achievements and failures are filtered. Imagine ending a seemingly ordinary month with an extraordinary new outlook and a set of skills that will empower you for the rest of your life. That's the promise of the next 30 days. Are you ready to challenge the status quo of your personal limitations? Are you prepared to question and possibly reset deeply ingrained beliefs about what you can achieve? If you are genuinely ready to take this step, to embrace change and to start a profound journey of self-discovery, then let's begin this transformative process together. With every chapter, expect to dive deep into the core aspects of personal development and spirituality. Each segment is meticulously designed not only to teach but also to provoke thought, prompt action, and instill a durable habit of growth and self-reflection. This introduction sets the stage for a deeply engaging narrative that will guide you, inspire you, and challenge you to achieve what may now seem impossible. This is not just about reaching your potential, it's about expanding it. Chapter 1. Uncovering Your Hidden Strengths In the exploration of personal development, the first and perhaps most crucial step is identifying the barriers that hinder progress. These barriers are not just external obstacles, but often internal, deeply rooted in our psyche, and intricately woven into the fabric of our daily thoughts and behaviors. This section delves into the subtle yet profound ways these internal barriers manifest and how they can be identified and addressed to pave the way for true transformation. One might wonder how these barriers, often invisible and intangible, can have such a pronounced impact on our lives. They typically originate from a variety of sources, including past traumas, societal conditioning, and self-imposed limitations based on fear and doubt. For instance, consider the common fear of failure. This fear doesn't merely prevent us from taking significant risks, it subtly infiltrates many aspects of our daily decision-making processes, leading us to opt for safer, less rewarding paths in careers, relationships, and personal growth opportunities. The process of identifying these barriers begins with introspection. It requires us to pause and reflect, to turn our gaze inward and ask ourselves some challenging questions. What are the recurring patterns in my life that hold me back? When do I feel most anxious or defeated? 
Is there a common theme to the situations where I find myself stagnating or regressing? These questions are not meant to prompt a quick self-reprimand, but to initiate a deeper investigation into our internal world. Journaling is an effective tool in this endeavor. By documenting our daily experiences and the emotions associated with them, we can begin to see patterns and triggers. Over time, this written record becomes a mirror showing us how our reactions and decisions are shaped by deeper, often unacknowledged fears and beliefs. For example, you might notice that your reluctance to speak up in meetings stems not from a lack of knowledge but from a deep-seated belief that your ideas are not valuable, possibly a residue from early educational experiences where you felt dismissed or ridiculed. Another vital approach to identifying personal barriers is through feedback from others. While self-reflection is essential, it can sometimes be limited by our own biases and blind spots. Feedback from trusted friends, family members, or mentors can provide an outside perspective on our behavior and attitudes. This feedback, however, requires openness and vulnerability, as hearing about our limitations and blind spots can be uncomfortable. Yet, it is in this discomfort that growth begins. The key is to approach such feedback not as criticism but as valuable data that can help us understand ourselves better and adjust our behaviors accordingly. Mindfulness and meditation also play significant roles in identifying personal barriers. These practices help us cultivate a higher degree of self-awareness, allowing us to observe our thoughts and emotions without attachment or judgment. Through regular mindfulness practice, we can learn to recognize when we are acting out of fear, insecurity, or a preconceived notion of incapacity. This recognition is the first step towards change, providing us with the choice to act differently, to challenge our automatic thoughts, and to question their validity. By identifying our personal barriers, we not only understand what holds us back but also why we might have failed to reach our full potential in the past. This understanding is not an end point, but a starting point. It marks the beginning of a journey towards not just overcoming these barriers, but transforming them into stepping stones for personal and spiritual growth. This process is not quick nor easy, but it is profoundly rewarding, leading to a life lived with greater purpose, freedom and achievement. After identifying the personal barriers that restrict growth, the next essential step in your journey of self-improvement is to recognize and leverage your unique strengths. This process not only complements the work done in overcoming personal obstacles, but also propels you towards realizing your full potential. Understanding and utilizing your inherent strengths can transform the way you approach challenges, set goals, and interact with others, ultimately leading to a more fulfilled and successful life. Identifying your strengths begins with self-assessment. This involves a deep and honest evaluation of what you naturally excel at. Are you an exceptional communicator? Do you have a knack for solving complex problems? Perhaps your strength lies in your ability to empathize with others or your capacity to stay calm under pressure. Recognizing these talents requires you to look beyond conventional achievements and consider the qualities that make you uniquely effective in various aspects of life. Various formal assessments can help pinpoint your strengths, such as personality tests like the Myers-Briggs Type Indicator or the Strengths Finder Assessment. These tools offer insights that might not be immediately obvious and can provide a structured way to think about your abilities. However, it's important to integrate these findings with your personal insights and experiences to form a comprehensive understanding of your strengths. Once you have identified your strengths, the challenge is to integrate them into your daily life and long-term goals. This integration can be transformative in various domains of your life, from career to personal relationships. For instance, if you identify that one of your strengths is creativity, you might seek ways to incorporate creative problem-solving into your work, or if empathy is a strength, you might leverage this in building and maintaining strong relationships. The power of leveraging your strengths lies in the principle of positive psychology, which emphasizes enhancing what is already present within you, rather than merely fixing weaknesses. 
This approach not only boosts self-esteem and motivation, but also increases effectiveness in accomplishing goals. It aligns your life's activities with your innate talents, making tasks more enjoyable and fulfilling, and thereby increasing the likelihood of success. Another critical aspect of leveraging your strengths is the development of complementary skills that can amplify these strengths. For example, if strategic thinking is one of your strengths, developing skills in data analysis or project management could enhance your ability to execute effective strategies. Similarly, if interpersonal relationships are a forte, skills in conflict resolution or persuasive communication could make you even more proficient in social and professional interactions. The impact of focusing on your strengths is profound. It changes your self-perception, enhances your confidence, and allows you to contribute more significantly in areas where you naturally excel. It encourages a shift from a deficit-focused view of self-improvement to a more balanced and positive approach. Moreover, by focusing on your strengths, you create a positive feedback loop, successes build confidence, which in turn motivates you to take on new challenges and achieve even greater success. By the end of this exploration of leveraging unique strengths, you should not only recognize your inherent abilities, but also have practical strategies for harnessing them. This understanding and application of your strengths are crucial for the journey towards unlocking limitless potential and transforming these insights into tangible, life-changing actions. Chapter 2. The Power of Mindset The concept of mindset, as delineated by psychologist Carol Dweck, categorizes the underlying beliefs people have about learning and intelligence into two types, fixed and growth. A fixed mindset assumes that our character, intelligence, and creative abilities are static givens, which we can't change in any meaningful way, while a growth mindset thrives on challenge and sees failure not as evidence of unintelligence but as a heartening springboard for growth and for stretching our existing abilities. This segment delves into the transformative process of shifting from a fixed mindset to a growth mindset and the profound impact this shift can have on personal development and success. Understanding the characteristics of a fixed mindset is the initial step in this transformation. Individuals with a fixed mindset typically avoid challenges, give up easily, see effort as fruitless, ignore useful negative feedback, and feel threatened by the success of others. As a result, they may plateau early and achieve less than their full potential. In contrast, those with a growth mindset understand that their talents and abilities can be developed through dedication and hard work, brains and talent are just the starting point. The shift from a fixed to a growth mindset begins with recognizing and acknowledging your own mindset. Reflect on how you approach challenges and setbacks. Do you feel overwhelmed and quickly discouraged? perhaps concluding that you lack the necessary skills? Or do you embrace difficulties, viewing them as opportunities to learn and grow? Awareness is the first step toward change, and simply understanding that the brain can grow and that challenges are opportunities for improvement can catalyze this shift. To cultivate a growth mindset, start by changing your internal dialogue. This involves paying attention to the voice inside your head and actively challenging pessimistic thoughts or self-doubts. For instance, replace thoughts like I can't do this with I can't do this yet. This small linguistic tweak emphasizes that skills and abilities are not fixed but can be developed over time. Another effective strategy is to redefine what success and failure mean to you. In a growth mindset, Failure is not a reflection of your abilities, but rather a valuable source of information and a vital part of the learning process. Embrace failures as feedback, learn from them, and use them to guide your future efforts. Similarly, redefine success as continuous improvement rather than a specific achievement. Celebrate small victories not just for the outcomes, but for the effort and growth they represent. Additionally, Seek out challenges and persevere through difficulties. By stepping out of your comfort zone and tackling new and challenging tasks, you not only develop new skills but also reinforce the belief in your ability to improve. This builds resilience, which is critical for achieving long-term success. 
foster an environment that supports a growth mindset. Surround yourself with people who encourage and demonstrate growth-minded principles. Whether it's in a professional setting, through mentoring relationships, or in personal circles, such environments reinforce the values of continuous learning and resilience, further embedding a growth mindset. By embracing a growth mindset, you unlock a world of possibilities. This mindset not only enhances personal development, but also significantly improves your ability to cope with rapid changes and to innovate. It is a fundamental shift that allows individuals to thrive during challenges, expand their capabilities, and ultimately, transform their own potential into achievements. Visualizing success and setting intentions are powerful techniques that harness the power of the mind to influence reality. This approach is not merely about wishful thinking but involves actively imagining achieving your goals in vivid detail and setting clear, purposeful intentions as a way to catalyze action and manifest these visions into reality. By embedding these practices into your daily routine, you create a focused and motivated mindset that not only anticipates success but actively works towards it. Visualization is a technique used by athletes, entrepreneurs, and achievers in various fields. It involves creating a detailed mental image of achieving a specific goal, imagining the scenario in as much detail as possible, including the environment, your emotions, and the physical sensations associated with success. For example, if your goal is to give a successful presentation, you would visualize standing in front of the audience, speaking confidently, engaging with the audience, and feeling satisfied with your performance. This process not only prepares your mind for success, but also primes your body to act in ways that are congruent with your visualizations. The effectiveness of visualization lies in its ability to enhance motivation and increase confidence. When you repeatedly visualize a positive outcome, your brain begins to perceive this outcome as more attainable. In essence, you start to believe in your ability to achieve it, which in turn boosts your confidence and motivation to take the actions necessary to make it happen. Moreover, visualization stimulates the same neural networks that actual physical activity does, thereby strengthening the same skills just as physical practice would. Setting intentions complements visualization by providing a deliberate and focused direction for your actions. Intentions are not just goals, they are expressions of your values and principles guided by how you want to feel and the personal qualities you wish to embody. Unlike goals, which are often future-oriented and outcome-based, intentions are about the present moment and the process of living in alignment with your values and aspirations. To effectively set intentions, start by clarifying what you truly want not just in terms of specific outcomes, but also in how you want to feel and the qualities you want to develop. For instance, rather than merely setting a goal to get a job promotion, an intention could be to cultivate qualities such as leadership, resilience, and creativity, regardless of the outcome. This shift in focus encourages a broader perspective on personal growth and success. Each morning, take a few moments to set your intentions for the day. Reflect on what qualities you wish to embody and what you aim to achieve. Write these intentions down to solidify them further and refer back to them throughout the day to realign your actions and decisions. This practice not only keeps you mentally and emotionally aligned with your desired state but also activates a heightened state of awareness and purposefulness. Additionally, review and adjust your intentions regularly to ensure they remain relevant and aligned with your evolving aspirations and circumstances. This dynamic approach allows you to maintain a fresh perspective on your goals and the paths you choose to achieve them. By integrating visualization and intention setting into your daily routine, you create a powerful synergy that can significantly enhance your capacity to manifest success. These practices encourage a proactive approach to life, where you are not merely reacting to external circumstances, but actively creating the outcomes you desire through the power of your mind and the clarity of your intentions. Chapter 3. Strategic Habits for Success The establishment of daily routines is a cornerstone in the architecture of personal and professional success. 
High-performing individuals across various fields often attribute their achievements to stringent, well-structured routines that optimize their energy, focus, and productivity. This section explores how building effective daily routines can significantly enhance performance by fostering discipline, reducing decision fatigue, and creating a framework that promotes sustained high-level functioning. The concept of a daily routine extends beyond the mere scheduling of tasks, it involves the strategic organization of activities based on one's natural rhythms and peak productivity periods. For instance, if you are a morning person, harnessing this time for creative or intellectually demanding tasks can yield better results, while reserving afternoons for meetings or administrative tasks might align better with decreasing energy levels. To begin building an effective daily routine, start by auditing your current daily activities. Track everything you do for a week from the moment you wake up until you go to sleep. Note down not only what you do, but also how you feel while doing these activities and how effective you are in each. This record will provide a clear picture of how your time is spent, your productivity patterns, and potential time wasters. Once you have a comprehensive understanding of your current habits, start structuring your day around your strengths and natural cycles. Prioritize important tasks by scheduling them during your peak performance times. For instance, if your concentration is highest in the early hours, allocate this time to work on projects that require deep thinking. Conversely, schedule low-energy tasks for your less productive hours. A critical element in high-performance routines is consistency. While flexibility is important, Having a consistent start to your day can significantly enhance productivity. This might include a morning routine comprising meditation, exercise, or reading, which not only energizes you physically and mentally, but also sets a positive tone for the rest of the day. Consistency in your routine reduces the mental load of decision-making and habituates good practices until they become second nature. Incorporating regular breaks is also essential. The human brain can only focus effectively for a limited amount of time before fatigue sets in, reducing efficiency and increasing the likelihood of errors. Techniques like the Pomodoro technique, which involves breaking work into intervals, traditionally 25 minutes in length, separated by short breaks, can help maintain high levels of productivity throughout the day. During these breaks, engage in activities that are truly restorative, such as walking, stretching, or a quick relaxation exercise, rather than those that might drain your energy further, like browsing social media. Another vital component of a high-performance routine is the evening routine. How you end your day can be just as important as how you start it. Preparing for the next day, reflecting on the accomplishments and lessons of the current day, and engaging in a relaxing activity can promote better sleep and prepare you mentally and physically for the following day. Review and refine your routines periodically. As your goals, workload, and personal circumstances change, so too should your routines. Regularly assessing the effectiveness of your routine and making necessary adjustments ensures that your daily activities remain aligned with your overarching objectives. By methodically building and adhering to effective daily routines, you not only maximize your productivity and efficiency but also foster a higher level of self-discipline and order in your life. This structured approach to each day empowers you to not only meet but exceed your performance goals consistently. Among the various practices that contribute to high performance, there is often one secret habit that consistently appears at the core of success across diverse fields, the practice of deliberate, focused practice. This habit is not merely about dedicating time to tasks, but about engaging in specifically designed activities meant to improve performance in a targeted way. This section explores how top performers utilize this secret habit to continually enhance their skills and achieve mastery in their domains. Deliberate practice is defined by its purposefulness and systematic nature. It is not enough to simply repeat a task, one must engage in activities that are both challenging and aimed at improving specific aspects of performance. 
This type of practice requires a high level of focus and is usually not inherently enjoyable, which is why it is a habit cultivated more rigorously by top performers than by others. For instance, a musician might focus on perfecting a particularly difficult piece, playing it over and over, but also altering their approach with each iteration based on feedback, instead of simply playing a wide repertoire of easier selections. The first step to integrating this habit into your routine is to identify the core skills that most impact your performance. Once these are identified, break them down into components that can be individually improved. For each component, set clear, specific goals for what improvement looks like. This structured approach ensures that your practice sessions are focused and effective. The role of feedback in deliberate practice cannot be overstated. Immediate feedback, whether from a coach, mentor, or through self-assessment, helps in recognizing mistakes and correcting them in real time. This feedback loop accelerates learning and improvement by continuously adjusting and refining techniques and approaches. For example, a writer might work with an editor to refine their style and structure, receiving critiques that are immediately incorporated into revisions. Visualization also plays a crucial role in deliberate practice. Before engaging in the physical practice of a skill, visualize yourself performing it perfectly. This mental rehearsal helps prepare the brain for the actual activity, making the physical execution more effective. It primes neural pathways so that the physical execution aligns with the pre-mapped mental activity. Consistency is crucial in making deliberate practice a habit. It requires daily commitment and, often, sacrifices in other areas of life. Top performers prioritize their practice sessions, often scheduling them during their peak energy times to ensure maximum effectiveness. This consistency not only aids in skill enhancement, but also builds mental and physical resilience, making high performance sustainable over long periods. Moreover, deliberate practice should be strategically spaced. While daily practice is essential, there should be enough time between sessions for recovery and reflection. This spacing helps prevent burnout and allows the mind and body to integrate the learnings from each session fully. The culmination of these deliberate practice sessions over time leads to mastery. This mastery is not a final destination but a continuous journey. As each level of skill is achieved, new, more complex levels of challenge should be introduced to keep the growth ongoing. This secret habit of deliberate, focused practice is what differentiates top performers from the rest. It is a testament to the power of targeted effort and the pursuit of excellence through continuous, intentional work. Chapter 4 Emotional Resilience In today's fast-paced world, stress and anxiety have become common companions in both personal and professional settings. Managing these not only improves your overall well-being but also enhances your capacity to perform at your best. This section delves into strategies for effectively managing stress and anxiety, enabling you to maintain clarity and composure under pressure. Understanding the sources of stress and anxiety is the first step in managing them. Stress often arises from feeling overwhelmed or under pressure due to tight deadlines, high expectations, or a heavy workload. Anxiety, while related to stress, can manifest as a persistent feeling of nervousness or worry about potential outcomes or events, and it can be triggered by issues that go beyond immediate circumstances, including deep-seated fears or unresolved conflicts. One effective strategy for managing stress and anxiety is the practice of mindfulness. Mindfulness involves maintaining a moment-by-moment -moment awareness of our thoughts, feelings, bodily sensations, and the surrounding environment. Techniques such as meditation, deep breathing exercises, and yoga are all rooted in mindfulness and help calm the mind and body, reducing immediate stress and anxiety by focusing the mind on the present moment and reducing the tendency to ruminate on past events or future worries. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, CBT, techniques are also highly effective in managing anxiety. CBT helps in identifying and challenging negative thought patterns and irrational beliefs that can fuel anxiety. 
For example, if you frequently worry about not meeting expectations, CBT strategies can help you challenge these fears by testing their reality and learning to formulate more realistic and constructive responses. Another critical approach is to maintain a balanced lifestyle that supports mental health. This includes regular physical activity, which not only improves physical health, but also has a profound effect on reducing stress and anxiety. Exercise releases endorphins, chemicals in the brain that act as natural painkillers and mood elevators. Additionally, ensuring adequate rest and sleep is vital, as fatigue can exacerbate stress and anxiety, creating a vicious cycle. Developing a strong support network is also invaluable. Sharing your thoughts and concerns with friends, family, or a professional can help alleviate the burden of stress and anxiety. Social support can provide a different perspective, offer sympathy or advice, and sometimes help share the load of your responsibilities. Time management techniques can further help reduce stress by preventing the feeling of being overwhelmed. This includes learning to prioritize tasks, breaking larger projects into manageable parts, and setting realistic deadlines. Sometimes, simply organizing your day can provide a sense of control and significantly reduce feelings of stress. Learn to recognize your limits. Part of managing stress and anxiety is knowing when to take a break or step away from a situation. This might mean setting boundaries in your professional life, like learning to say no to additional responsibilities when your plate is already full, or identifying and avoiding situations in your personal life that trigger stress and anxiety. By implementing these strategies, you can manage stress and anxiety effectively, maintaining both your mental health and your ability to perform optimally. Adopting these practices into your daily routine can transform your ability to handle stressful situations, leading to improved health, happiness, and success. Emotional stability is a key component of mental health and overall well-being, enabling individuals to handle adversity, adapt to change, and make thoughtful decisions under pressure. This section explores the methods and practices that contribute to developing a resilient, balanced emotional state, essential for high performance and consistent productivity. The foundation of emotional stability is self-awareness, which involves understanding your emotions, what causes them, and how they affect your thoughts and behaviors. Cultivating self-awareness can be achieved through reflective practices such as journaling, meditation, and mindfulness exercises. These activities help you become more attuned to your internal states, allowing for better management of your emotions rather than being controlled by them. Building on self-awareness, emotional regulation is crucial. This involves strategies to manage and adjust your emotions to appropriate levels depending on the situation. Techniques such as deep breathing, progressive muscle relaxation, and guided imagery can help reduce emotional intensity when you feel overwhelmed. Additionally, developing the habit of pausing before reacting allows you to choose a more considered response, promoting more stable and constructive interactions. Another key aspect of cultivating emotional stability is resilience, the ability to bounce back from setbacks and maintain a positive outlook. This trait can be developed through practices such as cognitive reframing, where you learn to change your perspective on negative situations and view them as opportunities for growth and learning. Resilience is also bolstered by maintaining a strong support network, as relationships provide emotional support and help mitigate the impact of stress. Consistent routines also contribute to emotional stability. A predictable daily structure provides a sense of security and control, reducing anxiety and stress. This includes regular meal times, a consistent sleep schedule, and designated times for work and relaxation. Such routines not only ensure that your physical needs are met, but also provide mental reassurance that can help stabilize mood fluctuations. Practicing gratitude is another powerful tool for emotional stability. Regularly acknowledging and appreciating what you have, rather than fixating on lacks or wants, shifts your focus from what is wrong to what is right in your life. This can significantly improve your overall outlook, 
making you less susceptible to volatile emotional swings. Furthermore, setting clear and attainable goals provides direction and a sense of purpose, which are both stabilizing influences. Goals guide your actions and give you a roadmap to follow, reducing feelings of confusion and helplessness. They also provide concrete criteria for success, which can boost your confidence and satisfaction. Seeking professional help when necessary is a vital aspect of maintaining emotional stability. Mental health professionals can provide guidance, support, and treatment strategies that are tailored to your specific needs. They can help you understand and work through complex emotions, facilitating better emotional management and stability. Cultivating emotional stability is not a one-time task, but a continuous process that requires attention and effort. By integrating these practices into your daily life, you can develop the emotional resilience necessary to face life's challenges with confidence and calmness. Chapter 5. The Science of Self-Discipline Willpower is often considered the backbone of discipline and personal success, facilitating the ability to resist short-term temptations in order to achieve long-term goals. This crucial trait can be strengthened through various psychological techniques and lifestyle adjustments, which together forge a robust willpower capable of overcoming significant challenges. This section delves into comprehensive strategies designed to enhance your willpower, making the journey towards your aspirations more attainable and sustainable. One fundamental approach to boosting willpower involves the understanding and management of your mental energy. Willpower is not an unlimited resource, like physical energy, it can be depleted after sustained use. Recognizing this can help you plan your day more effectively by scheduling tasks requiring high levels of discipline and concentration during times when your mental energy is at its peak, typically after a restful night's sleep or following nourishing meals. Conversely, understanding that your willpower wanes as you tire suggests the importance of not overloading your schedule and ensuring you take breaks to replenish your mental reserves. Training your willpower also parallels training a muscle, gradual and consistent challenges lead to stronger willpower over time. Start by setting small, manageable goals that require you to exercise self-control. Successfully meeting these goals provides not only a sense of achievement, but also reinforces your willpower through positive feedback. For example, if you aim to improve your diet, begin by substituting one unhealthy snack with a healthier option each day rather than revamping your entire diet overnight. As your willpower strengthens, gradually introduce more significant changes. Sleep is another critical factor in willpower. Lack of adequate sleep saps mental energy and impairs your ability to make sound decisions, thus depleting your willpower. Prioritizing a full night's sleep is essential, it restores the brain's functionality and recharges its capacity to exercise self-discipline. Similarly, nutrition plays a vital role. Foods that cause spikes in blood sugar can lead to fluctuations in energy levels, affecting your willpower. Opting for meals that provide a steady release of energy throughout the day can help maintain stable willpower levels. Mindfulness meditation is another effective technique for enhancing willpower. By training your brain to focus on the present moment and observe your thoughts and feelings without judgment, mindfulness strengthens your ability to control impulses and delay gratification. Regular practice of mindfulness meditation has been shown to increase gray matter density in areas of the brain associated with self-regulation and control. Additionally, understanding the psychological aspect of willpower, such as the concept of ego depletion, a theory that suggests willpower is a limited resource, and decision fatigue, can help in managing it more effectively. Recognizing signs of depleted willpower is crucial, once you notice these signs, you can take steps to restore it by taking a break, engaging in a restorative activity, or simply changing to a less demanding task. Social support can also enhance willpower. Sharing your goals with friends or family members can provide an external source of motivation and accountability. For instance, if you're trying to quit smoking, partnering with a friend who shares the same goal can increase your willpower through mutual support and encouragement. 
visualizing the benefits of exercising willpower can fortify your resolve. When faced with a temptation, visualize the long-term benefits of resisting that temptation. If you're tempted to skip a workout, picture the physical health and the sense of accomplishment that each completed session brings. This technique shifts your focus from the immediate pleasure of giving in to the lasting satisfaction of having stayed the course. By employing these techniques to strengthen your willpower, you can enhance your ability to pursue and achieve your long-term goals. Consistent application of these strategies can transform willpower from a sporadic trait into a steady force that drives you toward continual personal growth and success. Procrastination, the habit of delaying tasks that need to be accomplished, is a common barrier that undermines productivity and can cause significant stress, anxiety, and financial or career detriment. Understanding the psychological foundations of procrastination and employing strategic measures to overcome it can dramatically improve personal efficiency and well-being. This section explores deep-rooted causes of procrastination and provides comprehensive strategies for overcoming this debilitating habit, facilitating a more productive and fulfilling lifestyle. Procrastination often stems from emotional resistance to the task at hand, fear of failure, or even fear of success. At its core, it is not a time management problem, but an emotion regulation problem. Recognizing this can shift the approach from merely trying to manage time better to addressing the emotional barriers that prompt this delay. One effective method to combat procrastination is the five-minute promise. This involves committing to work on a task for just five minutes, with the understanding that you can stop after five minutes if you choose to. Often, this reduces the initial resistance and once the task has begun, continuing becomes much easier. Another psychological strategy involves reframing the task in more positive terms. If the task is seen as daunting or unpleasant, it's beneficial to find aspects of the task that are enjoyable or to focus on the satisfaction of completing it. Visualization techniques can be helpful here, Imagine the relief and pride in completing the task. Additionally, breaking the task into smaller, manageable segments can help make the overall task seem less overwhelming and provide multiple opportunities for small successes, which can increase motivation. Setting clear, specific goals is also crucial in overcoming procrastination. Vague tasks can contribute to procrastination because they feel more abstract and difficult to start. By setting specific goals and deadlines, and perhaps scheduling them in a calendar, tasks become more concrete. This method not only aids in structuring one's time but also in psychological commitment to the tasks, making procrastination less likely. Developing a structured daily routine can also prevent procrastination. By having a predictable pattern of activities, the decision-making process is simplified reducing the mental energy required to get started on tasks. This routine should include designated times for work and breaks, leveraging times of day when you are most energetic. For instance, if you are a morning person, schedule demanding tasks during morning hours when you are most alert and effective. Accountability plays a significant role in combating procrastination. Sharing your goals and timelines with someone else can significantly increase your commitment. Whether it's a colleague, a friend, or a mentor, having someone to whom you report progress can provide an added incentive to complete tasks on schedule. Regular check-ins can maintain your motivation, especially if there is a social or professional penalty for not meeting your commitments. Addressing the fear of failure that often underlies procrastination is crucial. This fear can be paralyzing, leading to avoidance of tasks where there is a risk of failing. To overcome this, it is important to adopt a growth mindset, which values learning and growth over not making mistakes. Understanding that mistakes are a natural part of learning and improving can reduce the pressure for perfection, which is often a component of procrastination. Overcoming procrastination requires a blend of behavioral strategies, psychological insights, and practical planning. By addressing both the logistical and emotional aspects of procrastination, you can develop a more proactive approach to your tasks and responsibilities, 
leading to greater productivity and reduced stress. Chapter 6 Interpersonal Dynamics and Influence Effective communication is a pivotal skill in both personal and professional contexts, enhancing relationships, facilitating clear understanding, and improving negotiation outcomes. Mastering communication involves not only speaking clearly and persuasively, but also listening actively and empathetically. This section provides a comprehensive exploration of techniques to enhance communication skills, ensuring that interactions are both productive and constructive. The first step towards improving communication skills is to develop active listening abilities. Active listening involves fully concentrating on what is being said rather than just passively hearing the message of the speaker. It includes giving full attention to the speaker, acknowledging their message, clarifying unclear points, and responding appropriately. Techniques to improve active listening include maintaining eye contact, nodding to indicate understanding, and paraphrasing what the speaker has said to confirm comprehension. This practice not only helps in accurately receiving information, but also shows respect and appreciation for the speaker, fostering a positive communication environment. Another critical aspect of effective communication is the ability to articulate thoughts clearly and concisely. This can be enhanced through practices such as planning what you want to say in advance, being mindful of your language, speed, and clarity, and tailoring your message to the audience. It's essential to consider the background and knowledge level of your audience to make your communication as accessible and engaging as possible. For example, when explaining complex ideas, using analogies and avoiding jargon can help make the information more relatable and easier to understand. Emotional intelligence plays a significant role in effective communication. This involves being aware of your own emotions and the emotions of others, and using this awareness to manage interactions more effectively. Developing emotional intelligence can lead to more empathetic communication, where you respond to the underlying sentiment of the conversation rather than just the surface words. Techniques to enhance emotional intelligence include self-reflection, seeking feedback on how your communications are perceived, and practicing empathy by trying to see situations from others' perspectives. Nonverbal communication also significantly impacts the effectiveness of your communication. This includes facial expressions, body language, gestures, eye contact, and tone of voice. Being aware of and controlling these can help reinforce your spoken message. For instance, a relaxed posture and open stance can convey openness and approachability while a firm tone can express confidence and seriousness. Conversely, understanding the nonverbal cues from others can give you insight into their true feelings and responses, which might not be explicitly expressed. Furthermore, managing and adapting communication styles to different situations is crucial for effective communication. This might mean being more formal in a business meeting, but more relaxed and open in a casual team catch-up. Adjusting your communication style according to the context can significantly enhance the effectiveness of the interaction and can lead to better outcomes. Practicing and continually refining these skills through real-world application and feedback is essential for mastering effective communication. It involves a continuous cycle of practicing, receiving feedback, reflecting, and adjusting. Over time, these skills become more intuitive, greatly enhancing your ability to engage and influence others effectively. Effective communication is a multifaceted skill set that includes verbal, nonverbal, and listening skills, each requiring ongoing attention and development. By committing to improving these skills, you can increase your ability to convey your thoughts and feelings more clearly and understand others better, leading to more successful and fulfilling interactions. The ability to persuade and influence others effectively is a powerful tool in both personal and professional realms. It involves more than just convincing others to agree with your point of view or follow your suggestions, it's about understanding their needs, aligning your objectives with theirs, and building trust that your proposals enhance mutual goals.
this extensive exploration into the art of persuasion and influence will equip you with strategies to not only communicate persuasively but also to foster relationships that facilitate long-term cooperation and respect. A fundamental aspect of persuasion is the ability to clearly articulate the benefits of a proposal not just from your perspective, but crucially, from the perspective of those you are trying to persuade. This requires a deep understanding of their needs, desires, and possible reservations. Start by conducting thorough research or engaging in open dialogues to gain insights into their priorities and challenges. This information allows you to tailor your message in a way that resonates with them, making your proposal more appealing. The principles of influence established by psychologist Robert Cialdini, such as reciprocity, commitment, social proof, authority, liking, and scarcity, can be effectively applied to enhance your persuasive efforts. For example, by demonstrating genuine care and giving something of value without expecting anything in return, reciprocity, you build a foundation of goodwill, which makes others more inclined to reciprocate. Similarly, by presenting examples of others who have agreed with your proposal or adopted your suggestion, social proof, you can reduce the perceived risk associated with your proposal, making it more attractive. Effective persuasion also involves the strategic use of emotional appeals. While it's important to base your arguments on logical reasoning and factual evidence, integrating emotional elements can significantly enhance the impact of your message. People are often more motivated by their emotions than by rational considerations alone. For instance, storytelling can be a powerful tool in persuasion, allowing you to connect on an emotional level by presenting a relatable narrative or illustrating the benefits of your proposal through a compelling story. Building credibility is another crucial element in persuasion. This involves not only demonstrating your expertise and authority on the subject, but also cultivating a reputation for honesty and integrity. When people trust you, they are more likely to be persuaded by what you say. You can build credibility by consistently providing accurate information, admitting when you don't know something, and showing that you act in accordance with your words. Understanding and navigating objections is essential for effective persuasion. Instead of avoiding objections, address them head-on. This not only shows that you have considered potential downsides and have prepared for them, but also that you respect the concerns of others and are not merely trying to push your agenda without regard for their reservations. Listen carefully to any objections, validate the concerns behind them, and provide thoughtful, constructive responses. By mastering the art of persuasion and influence, you position yourself as a leader who can effectively advocate for ideas and initiatives, inspire others, and facilitate positive outcomes. Whether in a leadership role, sales, or everyday interactions, the ability to sway opinions and encourage action while maintaining respect and integrity is an invaluable skill. Chapter 7 Integrating and Sustaining Change The process of reviewing progress and setting future goals is vital for sustained personal and professional development. This continuous cycle not only allows for a reassessment of what has been achieved against set benchmarks, but also facilitates the setting of new objectives that align with evolving aspirations and circumstances. This segment explores effective strategies for reviewing progress and establishing future goals that ensure growth remains a constant trajectory in your journey. An effective review begins with a comprehensive evaluation of what was intended versus what was achieved. This involves not only a quantitative measure of results, but also a qualitative analysis of the outcomes. For instance, in a professional context, this could mean assessing not only whether sales targets were met, but how the sales process impacted client relationships or team dynamics. Similarly, in personal development, it's about evaluating not just whether you completed the tasks you set out to do, but also how these activities contributed to your growth and well being. The use of specific tools and methods can greatly enhance this review process. Techniques such as SWOT analysis, identifying strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, can provide clear insights into what factors contributed to successes or failures. 
Reflective practices like journaling can also play a critical role, offering a personal retrospective insight that might not be captured through more structured analysis. These reflections can reveal patterns in behavior, recurring challenges, and unexpected sources of satisfaction and joy, informing how future goals are shaped. Setting future goals then becomes an exercise informed by the insights gained during the review. Goals should be specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound, smart. This framework ensures that each goal has a clear objective, a defined timeline, and realistic expectations, making it easier to monitor progress and make adjustments as necessary. For instance, rather than setting a vague goal to improve management skills, a SMART goal would be to complete a leadership training course and lead a project team by the end of Q2, receiving at least 80% positive feedback on leadership effectiveness from team members. Moreover, integrating flexibility into goal setting is crucial as it allows for adaptability in response to changes in circumstances or priorities. While it's important to have a clear direction, remaining too rigid can lead to missed opportunities or continued pursuit of goals that no longer serve your best interest. Regularly scheduled reviews, such as quarterly or biannual check-ins, can help adjust goals as needed, ensuring they remain relevant and aligned with your overall objectives. Another important aspect of setting goals is ensuring they are aligned with your intrinsic values and long-term vision. Goals that resonate on a deeper personal level are more motivating and are likely to result in greater commitment and satisfaction. This alignment ensures that the pursuit of these goals feels meaningful and enriching rather than just another set of tasks to be completed. Consider the broader impact of your goals. How do they affect not only your personal and professional growth, but also the well-being of others around you? Incorporating a holistic perspective into your goal setting can enhance the quality and breadth of your objectives, ensuring they contribute positively to your community or professional field. By methodically reviewing progress and setting thoughtful, flexible future goals, you create a dynamic framework for continuous improvement. This not only propels you towards achieving specific outcomes, but also fosters a mindset of lifelong learning and adaptation, which is essential in today's ever-changing world. Creating a lasting legacy of transformation involves leaving behind a positive and enduring impact that transcends individual achievements. It's about leveraging your skills, experiences, and resources to effect meaningful change in the lives of others and contribute to the betterment of society as a whole. This final segment explores strategies for cultivating a legacy of transformation that reflects your values, passions, and aspirations, ensuring that your influence continues to resonate long after you're gone. One key element in creating a lasting legacy of transformation is identifying your core values and defining what matters most to you. These values serve as guiding principles that shape your actions and decisions, anchoring your legacy in authenticity and integrity. Take time to reflect on what drives you, what inspires you, and what impact you want to have on the world. This clarity of purpose provides a solid foundation for crafting a legacy that aligns with your deepest beliefs and aspirations. Another crucial aspect is cultivating a mindset of abundance and generosity. Instead of focusing solely on personal gain or recognition, shift your perspective to how you can contribute to the greater good and uplift those around you. This might involve sharing your knowledge and expertise with others, supporting charitable causes, or actively engaging in community initiatives. By approaching life with an open heart and a spirit of giving, you create ripple effects of positive change that extend far beyond your immediate sphere of influence. Furthermore, embracing innovation and embracing change is essential for creating a legacy of transformation. The world is constantly evolving, and the most impactful legacies are those that embrace progress and adapt to new challenges and opportunities. Stay curious, embrace new ideas, and be willing to challenge the status quo. By being open to change and innovation, you position yourself as a catalyst for transformation, inspiring others to pursue bold ideas and pursue new paths to create positive change. Additionally, 
fostering meaningful relationships and connections is key to building a legacy of transformation. Seek out opportunities to collaborate with like-minded individuals, share ideas, and support each other's growth and development. Surround yourself with a diverse network of people who challenge and inspire you, and cultivate deep, authentic connections based on mutual respect and shared values. These relationships not only enrich your own life but also amplify the impact of your efforts, creating a ripple effect of positive change that extends far beyond your individual contributions. Moreover, leading by example is essential for creating a lasting legacy of transformation. Your actions speak louder than words, and the way you live your life serves as a powerful testament to your values and beliefs. Be a role model for others by embodying the principles of integrity, compassion, and resilience in everything you do. Whether it's in your professional endeavors, your personal relationships, or your community involvement, strive to leave a positive imprint on the world through your actions and choices. Creating a lasting legacy of transformation is a journey that requires intention, passion, and commitment. By aligning your actions with your values, embracing change and innovation, fostering meaningful relationships, and leading by example, you can leave behind a legacy that inspires and empowers others to create positive change in the world. Remember that true transformation begins with a single step and each choice you make has the power to shape the future for generations to come.